Welcome everyone to our closing ceremony and dance party. We've had such a great four days together. I had so much fun connecting with so many of you and working with our speakers, facilitators, sponsors, and JDC events on this year's conference. Thank you all for being here and for making this year's conference such a memorable event. Now I'd like to invite Andrew Rosen and Kelsey Trace to lead us in recognizing a few outstanding community members. Take it away, Andrew. Thanks so much, Lori. This year's conference has been a real team effort for our staff, board, volunteers, speakers, and sponsors. It's been a pleasure being part of this year's event and getting a chance to visit with so many of you attending. We have a few outstanding community members NAF would like to recognize. It's my honor to recognize our first two awardees. First, we have Mark Desa, our neighbor to the north. Mark lives in Toronto, Canada, and is a certified personal trainer and inspiring martial artist with a rare form of ataxia known as ARCA-1. He is highly active within the ataxia community. He is working toward raising awareness of ataxia globally as a very active Facebook group and hosts a weekly virtual support group. This was the first ataxia support group he established that continues to offer support and education virtually to many worldwide has allowed people to stay connected through the pandemic's uncertainty and isolation. Mark was ahead of the game and having already established the virtual meeting format. We thank him for his visionary service to the Ataxia community. Congratulations, Mark, on your outstanding achievement award. Hi everyone, Mark here. Um, I'd just like to take a minute to say thank you. I received this in the mail the other day and uh, it was very welcome and very appreciated. Um, obviously, I'd like to thank my parents uh, for loving and supporting me through all this and all the people I continue to learn and grow um, from. Um, so I'll pass back to Andrew. Thanks, Mark, and congratulations again. Next, we would like to recognize Lauren Sormani who was diagnosed with SCA8 in 2017 at the age of 21. A New Jersey native, Lauren currently resides in Washington, DC, where she is a law student and federal government employee. Lauren plans to specialize in disability law and the enforcement of the Americans with Disabilities Act. The legal world better watch out. In 2018, she founded the Under 30 with the Ataxia Group to help connect younger individuals with Ataxia and discuss issues relevant to that age group. In 2019, Lauren spearheaded advocacy activities with NAF that led to successful Ataxia Hill Days in both 2019 and virtually in 2020. The Ataxia Hill Day events led to the US Senate passing the first National Ataxia Awareness Day resolution. Having worked closely with Lauren since I started at NAF, the term force of nature would be an apt description for her. Her commitment and enthusiasm for doing everything possible to improve the lives of those living with ataxia have made her an NAF super volunteer. We thank Lauren for her continued dedication to the ataxia community. Congratulations, Lauren, on your outstanding achievement award. Thank you so much for this award, Andrew. Um, I am a firm believer that engaging with our elected officials will one day help us unlock the cure for ataxia. The passage of the Ataxia Awareness Day resolution this past year is just one small step towards that greater purpose. The resolution not only defined the complex group of ataxia diseases in a piece of legislation, but it also underscored the need for greater ataxia awareness, which will lead to further research, improved treatments, and with time, a cure, as our co-sponsor Senators Warren and Hyde Smith said. This historic accomplishment would not have been possible without the entire NAF and FARA Joint Advocacy Board, which we established just two years ago. The resolution is also a direct result of those in the ataxia community who came to speak with their representatives at one of our Hill Days and shared their impactful stories. I encourage you all to get involved with ataxia advocacy and be a part of this powerful movement because our voices were heard. Thank you. I'll now turn it over to Kelsey Trace, NAF's Research Services Manager, to introduce our final award winner. Kelsey. Thanks, Andrew. 
Now I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate Dr. Laura Ranham for receiving the Dr. John W. Scott Research Achievement Award. The Medical Research Advisory Board nominated Laura on behalf of Sue Hagen. Dr. Laura Ranham began her research career in human molecular genetics at the University of Minnesota and is currently the founding director of the Center for Neurogenetics and Professor of Molecular Genetics and Microbiology at the University of Florida. Over the past 25 years, her laboratory has identified the mutations for several neurological disorders, including the genetic mutations that cause SCA5, SCA8, and the related repeat expansion disorder, myotonic dystrophy type 2. Dr. Ranham's innovative research has provided remarkable advances in the study of SCAs and other repeat expansion disorders. Dr. Ranham served for many years on the NAF Board of Directors and is now the research director of the NAF Medical Research Advisory Board. NAF is very fortunate to have such an outstanding and dedicated researcher volunteer her time in these very important NAF roles. In summary, her peers state, Dr. Ranham is a basic scientist who is not only concerned with lab mice, test tubes, and publications, but actively advocates for the patients and families who will benefit from her research. Congratulations, Dr. Ranham. Well, thank you very much. It's a it's really a big honor for me, and um, it's an honor. It's been an honor to work with the National Ataxia Foundation for many years, and an, a special honor to work with ataxia patients and families. So it's almost 30 years now that NAF awarded me my very first research grant. And it's been really exciting to work with you, Kelsey, to see so many young scientists engaged in research and awarded many more grants. And it's really exciting to see where this research will go. And I'm um, and the and it will be particularly um, great to see the emerging therapeutic opportunities that I'm sure will um, be evolving in the next five years. Um, I'd like to thank some people over the years that have been really um, uh, instrumental in my uh, training. First, Harry Orr and Huda Zogby for outstanding postdoctoral training. Uh, Larry and Loretta Scutt for the many um, trips um, all around the country to collect. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional to collect blood and study ataxia patients and their families. It's been a real honor. Members of the Lincoln family, the LCA family, eight families, and all these SCA families, and members of my lab and uh, the brain donation and research team, Sue Hagen, Mary Peterson, Felisa Fitzgerald. And sorry, I'm getting emotional, but um, I look forward to continuing to work with Andrew Rosen and the NAF team and ataxia patients and families and to, and to getting out on the dance floor now and, <laughs> and wiping away the tears and working really hard to uh, uh, beat ataxia. Thank you. Thanks so much, Laura, for all you do. Congratulations. Congratulations, Laura, Lauren, and Mark. Thank you for all of your contributions to the Ataxia community. Now, guys, we're ready to have a whole lot of fun wrapping up the conference with a dance party. We have with us here DJ Lee Dyson, who will bring the fun. There will be dancing, we promise, and some party games, prizes, and trivia to mix things up. So enjoy the party and then start making plans to join us in Orlando, Florida for the 2022 Annual Ataxia Conference. Let's start the party, DJ Lee.